Please welcome Wendy Raquel Robinson. Hey, Queen. Oh, hey, my Wendy. queen. Yes. My queen. My queen. How y'all Wendy, doing? how are you doing? And you look younger and younger. Last time I saw you, we was on a cruise getting our drink on. Girl, okay, honey, I would be drinking, but no, honey, I've been doing these interviews. So right now, you know. <laughs> we'll drink for you. <laughs> wow. You know, I am good. I am really good. I feel like, um, I don't know, I've just released a lot of Oh, shit. Uh, uh, in 22 and let it go and just trying to you know make 23 the best for me the best wow. for me. finally being a little selfish just a little bit well let's just not we won't even call it selfish let's rebrand that and call it self-care yes, yes. thank you so yes. when, when, wendy recently you posted a, a beautiful photo in hawaii with the caption New year, new memories, new intentions, new experiences. I am so grateful for this journey, the learning, self-discovery, self-care, and self-love. Yes. And she's pretty freaking cool. So, you know, that kind of goes into what we're talking about already. Why is it important for people to focus on self-discovery? Wow. You know, I feel like, especially coming out of COVID, mm -hmm. woo, things are just a little off kilter. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I feel like everybody just needs a little bit more grace in their yeah. life. And uh, I'm just so thankful. I had a lot of losses in, um, you know, in the past two years, you know, just in general. So I'm just so appreciative of life, love, this pursuit of happiness, you know, I'm working, you know, it's like everything is just all in place. So I've been doing my gratitudes. <laughs> I've been doing my mindfulness and okay. I've just been really um, just catering back to me. You know, I give so much, you know, I'm a giver. And, you know, sometimes it's okay to just pour right on back into me and give myself the love that I've been giving out so long. So self-care is essential. Yes, you have, if you ain't caring for you, ain't nobody else. Okay. <laughs> You've been working, Wendy. You are reprising your role as Tasha Mack in the reboot of the game that people can catch on Paramount+. Plus. Mm -hmm. What can the fans expect? And were you skeptical about joining, you know, rejoining the um, reboot of the game? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to start with the second part first. Hell yes, I was skeptical. You know, uh, <laughs> it's been like 18 years. If you really add it all up, it's like 18 years of my life, you know. And yeah, there were hiatuses in between, but uh, we started on CW and then we went to BET. And then there was like a six year window where, you know, we were off and then Paramount Plus was like, you know what, we're going to reboot it. What do you think? And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, I was nervous. Hell, I've changed, you know, life has changed. You know, what are the scripts going to be like? What is the storyline going to be like? But of course I was, you know, sign me up. So um, what the fans can expect, the one thing I want to say about what Paramount has plus, they have plus this damn show. And I want to say the optics, the production value, it's a drama now. It's, it's heavier. But at the same time, we're tackling a lot of issues that people don't talk about. You know, my character is going through some real things, you know, with fibroids, mm, aging, wow. mm. sexism, mm. colorism, hairism. You know, we're holding up a mirror to the world to look at ourselves, even though it's through the eyes of football, but it's some real ish that we're going into. And I'm just so proud of the work that we're doing, the stories that we're, mental health, you know, just everything. So it's, uh, we're putting it all out there. Well, I'm so glad that you're back because Tasha Mack, honey, is just okay. one of my favorite girls, honey. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Now, not only is Tasha Mack coming back, but Tasha Mack is the executive producer. Of but I learned from you, girl. I learned from you, Viv. What I tell you, get two checks, right? <laughs> right. Yes, but what's that like wearing all those hats for you? Uh, it's like putting on a different wig, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> for me, because we are tackling so many issues and even the fibroids, you know, that's something that I even went through. So it's having a voice, having a, you know, a strong, uh, I want to say, opinion and input. And uh, nobody knows the world of these characters more so than myself and Hosea Chanchez. You know, we've been there since the beginning. So even though, you know, the hands have changed, you know, with showrunners and producers and writers and things like that, but who else to bring, you know, I want to say the authenticity of these characters to life than us. Yeah. So yeah, it feels good. I mean, I, but like, you're the head I don't think I can go charge. back and just acting again, girl. No, 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 but you're the head chick in charge, Wendy. You so deserve that. Oh, You've carried this you. franchise for 
for since the beginning. I saw wow. your interview where you were like, you know, I was just, you know, I was just one of the cast and then your character just blew up, you know? Oh, right. Thank you. So, I mean, it's, it's humbling. Like I was listening to you guys talking about being kind, you know, in a true story. I met Mara Brockett Kill when she was a PA on the right. Sinbad pilot. And I was like, what you doing answering these phones? She was answering the phones on the stage and she was like, no, I'm a writer. I said, okay, yes, you are. I said, well, what you working on? Then cut to, it was girlfriends and then cut to, it was the game. So she never forgot that because I saw her. You know what I mean? So taking the time. So I love these conversations y'all are having. It's just so, it's it's what we need and to pass on. Because everybody ain't kind. I know that's right. Okay, I know you do, girl. You know we know. Okay. Go back to the theater, Selena. Let me tell you, child. Uh, <laughs> but but you were kind, Wendy, and that's why we've always been friends all these years. So I, you know, you know, I just love you, child. Thank you. And I love Tasha Mack, and I'm real, real excited about the game because you know that's my whole. I love that whole concept. I love. I've been watching the game since CW, so I'm very <laughs> Thank excited. You. Okay, then. You, you know what? You one of those player wives, honey, okay? You know I, me? I, uh, well, you know, I've been in tune since then. <laughs> but, um, so, okay, I, I, what I really find fascinating, though, is that you mentioned how they're, they're now attacking serious topics. And, I, and we've seen this a lot in Black content, which I really absolutely love, especially with the series right. and, you know, so forth and so on. And so what I want to know is, how, you, you know, you just mentioned briefly about the fibroids. How is Tasha Mack and Wendy synonymous in terms of the fibroid story? Like, are, yeah. how are you and Tasha Mack the same, you know, when it comes to your fibroid story and what she's going through inside of the game? Wow. So just like I posted, you know, talking about self-care and self-love, sometimes we got to take the cape off. You know, you can't do everything and be everything to everyone right. you, you give to yourself. So I, you know, when I was going through it, whoo, child, I was still working, working, working. I'll never forget true story. You know, it was uh, in Vegas at the Hoodie Awards. My hemoglobin had dropped down to damn near a two. Mm. Wow. Now, you know, you're supposed to be at at least a nine. They were like, how the hell are you still up and not conscious. And, you know, I had to get a blood transfusion, you know, without going into too many details, but it was at that point that I was like, you know, if I don't stop and take care of myself and just take a moment and just, you know, to give. So I think that's where Tasha and Wendy are really in parallel. Cause she's, you know, I got to make them coins. I got to get out here. You know, I got this jet, I got this, I got that. And it's like, no, 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 no. You got one body. You got, okay. if you don't take care of this temple, you know, talking to Wendy and to Tasha, mm -hmm. you gonna be in trouble. So I think okay. that's the greatest parallel right there. Well, well you know, speak, speaking of parallels, the streets is paralleling you. <laughs> The street. What's what's the, the, street, the, the, street, the street? The streets of Twitter are paralleling you to Glorilla. The people said that. The oh, people, y'all gonna pull that up. The people <laughs> said that you out here giving the same face as Glorilla. Now, if in fact there was going to be some kind of movie or <laughs> you know something that was featuring Glorilla, would you be open to playing the baby's mama? Are you kidding me? I play a mama, auntie, tt -t -t sister, whatever. Okay, let's play. You know what? And because think of me, I, I love rapping. You know what Girl, I mean? You look so young. You oh can my play God. her. You look I so do. young. You can play her. Exactly. Y'all didn't, exactly. didn't see Wendy oh, Crip Walk. Y'all didn't see Wendy Crip Walk. She gets it in the trailer for the game <laughs> reboot. She, I was like, Wendy, really? Wendy dances down now. <laughs> That's her first. Oh, yeah. That's her first. She's a fun time. She has a fun time. That's her first yes, move. Honey, yes, but oh yeah, but look for that. No, but we've been texting and DMing. It was like, yeah, all I all I need is a script. Okay, a script. <laughs> we good. Even if it I gotta cool. write it, because I'm already well, gonna use it. Well, yeah. maybe executive producer, maybe you can produce that and add that to the long list of other things you got going okay. on. And listen, speaking of that, I want to just ask you before we let you go. You, you've always been consistent, like like your character, very busy, and your real life Wendy, super busy. You've mastered staying booked and busy for a very long time. What can you tell the viewers about the key to longevity? I know we spoke a little bit about Ooh, being yeah. humble and graceful and being kind, but would, would you say those are the keys or is there anything else you want to leave us with? I think those are important elements, but I mean, you guys, your careers are absolutely amazing as well, but it's simple. Do the work. Yes. 
do the work, show up, That's be it. ready, give a That's little all. bit more, try, you know, and be, be that one that people would enjoy to work with. Yes. Do the work. I'm seeing so, you know, it's, it, it is a shift that's happening, you know, and uh, we're in an Instagrammable way that, you know, a lot of people could get famous from this, that, and the other. It's like, uh, uh-uh, at the end of the day, you got to do the work, study, train, be ready. So when the opportunity comes, you won't just squander it. You'll be able to just get into it. So just do the work. Wendy, Man, what can the fans it, girl. Expect, okay. Wendy, what, what can the fans expect from you next? Ooh, good question. Because <laughs> right now I'm on a personal hiatus. Damn it, I just finished. Did you just hear? Did you read my post or not? I'm taking some self care. I'm not mad what? at you. You got to do it. You got to do it. It's Wendy, you know that's going to last year. about two weeks. You can be back on somebody's set because you stay busy. Okay. I know, I know. It's the 26th year of Amazing Grace Conservatory. And yeah. uh, we're just coming off of the highest of highs, you know. And uh, we honored Issa Rae, you know, as one of our distinguished alumni. So there's some great things that are in the making that are coming from the conservatory side, you know. So on my nonprofit, philanthropic, and uh, producing side, is a lot of great things that are happening. So uh, 25 years, you said? Uh, yeah, it'll be 26, 26 years now. Wow, congratulations on that. years. Oh, what I'm years. telling you, Wendy, Wendy love them kids. Okay. <laughs> Listen, honey, my niece is in. My niece is hey, down to the AGC Wendy, town. You will see Wendy, she will let you know about them kids the second you walk up on the show. She's coming to our show, right? We're going to know about that AGC. We're going to know about it. But they're killing it. They killing it. It's like, yeah. yeah. these. This is not children's theater, honey. It is professional theater with children. Yeah. So okay. Oh yeah. There, there, there's right. a huge Let them know. Let them know. There's a huge difference. Wendy, yeah. Wendy, how many episodes of the game did you film? We did ten. ten we episodes. did ten. So we are now on episode five. So you still okay. have time. And every Thursday we're dropping a new episode. So now is the time to not only catch up but to uh, get into it. Get well, into it. I can't wait. I'm. A, I like to binge watch. So I'm trying to hold oh, out. You trying to wait? Don't wait. Hell, right. you need to renew them, girl. I'm trying to get another season. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, let me go watch. Let me get all. Let me get all the ratings up. Let me. Get- well, we need all the soulmates that are in the chat and that are gonna watch this replay tomorrow. Please support her and her show. Wendy is an amazing woman, and she gives yeah. back. 26 years of helping these these students, and a lot of them are some of your very faves that are on television and movies right now. Yeah. She's doing yeah. a big thing. So thank you so much, Wendy, for joining us anytime because you are that girl in a breath mm-hmm. of time. I love, I love y'all. We love, we love you. you. Bye. 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 We love you. I Bye. can't wait to make some more magic with you. Girl, be, be sure. You can play that what? Get on up. Get on up. Let's do it. <laughs>